Good day, everyone. I was born and raised in Detroit. Growing up there, I saw people like me running things. This is a courtroom, not a circus, so we're gonna calm down. I'm sorry. What I found there was a passion that I didn't know existed. This is the bottom line. I'm excited to free fall into the limitless possibilities with we the people. So many are fearful of the law. They think it's something that works against them. I think you need to begin to accept responsibility for your mistakes. We are the people. Janae Baker claims her ex-lover stepped out on her while they were on vacation and refuses to pay her back. Chandler Sanchez admits he ran into an old fling, but swears nothing happened. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lauren Lake presiding. You may be seated. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Thank you, Sean. Good day, everyone. Good day. Good day. This is the case of Baker versus Sanchez. Ms. Baker, you are suing Mr. Sanchez for $925 on bad debt that you say he didn't pay. That is correct, Your Honor. Explain to the court what happened. Yes, I am here today to sue Mr. Sanchez for $925 because he committed to pay for his half of our vacation to Cancun and he has yet to do so. Well, take me back. I want to understand the nature of the relationship, this trip you decided to take. Give me the details, please. Absolutely. So I met Mr. Sanchez at the gym. He was my personal trainer for a couple months and then we ended up falling for each other. He was very gentle and kind in the beginning. We had a loving relationship. We've been together about four years now and it's been very rocky the past couple of years. And we take an annual trip, revive our relationship, get some time away from the world. I was super excited about going to Cancun after he chose, I don't have a reason to lie, Your Honor. After he chose Cancun specifically, I was excited. I said, okay, I'll swipe my credit card for $1,850. And he knows that our agreement, which we've had year after year after year, is that you pay me back via Venmo at the end of the vacation. Do and that's you what have evidence of that I charge? absolutely do, Your Honor. May I see it, um, please? For the past two years, there's been three years that we have gone on the trip, but I only have the receipts for the past two years where he's Thank Venmo me the difference. This is a charge for $1,850. That's the total for six days, five nights at the all-inclusive resort that I for the two paid of you? for for the two of us. No, That's good. $320 no, no, a day. Do and then that. there was a $250 resort fee. So that totals $1,850. So half of that is $925, which is owed to me. And that's no. why I'm here Got today. It. No. Got it. And I do see the charge going on your account. This other evidence you're showing the court is that's uh, the payment years. details from mm -hmm. Venmo activity. Yes, from the past vacation. So the past two years, those are the receipts I have of him paying me back the half that he owes me via Venmo. Around, yeah, in 2020 mm -hmm. and 2021. Yes. Which I've tried to do on this recent trip, Your Honor. Oh, you did try to pay her back on this recent did, trip? I did, yes. Oh, well, tell us, Mr. Sanchez, how were you not successful Venmoing her $925? She would not accept the money that I was going to give her. And the money was more than fair for the time that we spent. $320 is not fair. What? We spent one night together. One night. You made a commitment, Chandler, that you would pay me back the $925. Not with the way you were treating Why me. Why did you only try to give her back $300? Because she was coming down on me constantly. Constant jealousy, constant bickering. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to get out of there. I had to so just left, get basically. into another so space. So on the first, wait, you all been together four years. You get to Cancun and start fighting on the first day? Pretty much. We were on the flight. We had a great flight and we were lovey-dovey. It was, it was off to a great Wasn't start. But when we got to the hotel, that's when I noticed the shift happened. It's like a switch. He got really distant. He started to ignore me and not respond. And That was all you. All right, so switch top. I well, mean, I know women, know. we have our intuition. We know when yeah. you're acting funny, Mr. Absolutely. Sanchez, just so you know. So there was a discrepancy at the hotel. I got us a presidential suite, but they booked us for a regular room. So the person that we were having an exchange with at the counter, he your, didn't like that Honor, interaction. Your Honor, she was just berating, berating the we worker We had a conversation. There. They were just starting there. I asked I for the manager. I was trying to calm her down but she wouldn't let it go. We got it taken care of and we got our suite. Okay, so what happens next? You, you, she's gotten on your nerves because you felt like she was doing too much Absolutely. as she addressed the issue about the suite. Yeah. You get the suite, what happens after that? 
we go to dinner. Um, dinner is cold, it's not fun, it's not anything that I imagined that this trip would be. And it was just distant and cold. So we went home or went back to the hotel and slept. And in the morning when I woke up, he was gone. After the first night. Mm -hmm. That is not the way it Where went down. Where did you down. go? That is Mr. not Sanchez. what happened. I just took a walk in the morning. That was it. We had the we spent the night together. We tried to make it work, but she would let go the earlier part of the evening. Mm -hmm. And I stayed. All I did was take a walk in the morning. I wanted to clear my head and make sure I was good. And when he came back, he started packing his bags. Coming up. What did this lady say to you? She ended up looking up hashtag Cancun and she saw our picture. So she said, hey, it looks like um, we were on a trip with the same guy. And I'm like, hold on, wait, what's going on? And later. I am a devout vegan. I am an animal rights activist. And uh, she knew this and styled me in animal products without my knowledge. Closed captioning provided by if you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. We're back with a dispute between ex-lovers Janae Baker and Chandler Sanchez over vacation expenses. I, I came to the decision that it was best that if we got separate rooms for the dura duration of the vacation, just to kind of make things a bit more calm for us. After just one night of arguing? She wouldn't let it go. Everything, everything was just like bickering what and coming down on me, go, bringing Chandler? up stuff from the past. Like? All right, so this is your receipt. Like the cookout. You went over there and paid a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. He decided to for pay. how many nights? Four nights. Four nights. So you went and got another hotel room for four nights. Did you all see each other again for the rest of the vacation? Yes, we did. We, we did. did. We had one breakfast. We were gonna have dinner, but gonna. she just kept going on it and on happen. about it. So he Bringing obviously up the past, was with someone else. Being jealous over nothing, over the waitress he that has, we had the night before. Well, we've got some fidelity Wait, issues. Wait, what happened to the with the waitress? Nothing happened. She's Flirting. just trying to serve us. We're on vacation. Let's talk about the cookout Come on. right before this. Oh, here what we go happened? with the cookout again. Well, why don't you tell your there's own There's nothing to tell. The cookout. There's nothing to tell. <laughs> what happened at so the cookout? So there's a cousin who mistook some girl who was there for me, and it gets back to me like, hey, I thought you were going to be at the cookout. So you don't think he's being faithful to you? Oh, I'm almost certain. Well, I am certain that he is not. He's well, how had infidelity are you issues in the past. How are you certain? I mean, I know Why he got missing. So I was contacted on Instagram by a young lady who states that she was the one spending time with him while he was in Cancun on his beach walk. There was nobody spending time with oh. me. What did this lady say to you? She ended up looking up hashtag Cancun and she saw our picture. So she said, hey, it looks like um, we were on a trip with the same guy. And I'm like, hold on, wait, what's going on? So I do have evidence here if you would like, like to, to see, see the oh text God, thread and photographs of this him with this woman. Stuff? So she sent me these photos and she sent me uh, information about their trip and how they were hanging out at the jazz club. They went zip lining, we didn't go scuba anywhere. diving, we all didn't the do things no that we were supposed to we do. do. Let's nothing. get some order. I'm looking at this evidence. So she writes to you, I know you don't know me, but I was in Mexico with Chan, that's short for Chandler, mm -hmm. this weekend, and I saw your picture. You like, you got the wrong girl. Right. And you like, I have a picture to prove we're together. You said, send it, I'd love to see. And then sure enough, she sent a picture. At Wrong. the bar, having a great time. Your Honor, that's, that's not even, I that's not that true. Come on, you know it's not true. This is definitely you, Mr. Sanchez. It can't be me. Your Honor, please. <laughs> he a believes friend, his own lies. Let me know that they were in town with friends. I said, cool. She was bugging. I said, let's go. Oh, so was you're I or were you the that one that the woman, You're admitting that the woman was there. She was there, but not for me. She you, was with her you're friends. You're saying she came on her own. Yes. That's what okay. Saying. And you met up with her? Her and her friends, yes. Ms. Baker, you say you brought a witness to court? Yes, I All actually right. do have a witness. I'd like to hear from your witness. Sean, will you please escort Ms. Baker's witness into the courtroom? Thank you, Your Honor. Oh, my. What is this? Hi, Chandler. What? Please state your name for the court. 
Sky Long. Miss Long, if I'm not mistaken, you're the woman I just looked at in the photos. So I've known Mr. Sanchez for a while. We dated back in the day, um, you know, a long time ago. So I was in Cancun with a group of friends uh, for a birthday, and I saw he was also there um, online on Facebook. So, you know, I hit him up, see if he wanted to link. And so um, we hung out the whole trip. He told me he was we single. We did not hang out the whole trip. He told me oh, he, trip. She, she said you told her you were single. Yes. Right. And I, that he I wanted to I get back single. together. I said I wanted he a said single was drink. the best thing that ever happened to him. He wanted to really? rekindle. Yes. No, come on. Yes, he was all up on me, kissing yeah. on me. Your Honor. No, all I wanted to do was go to my room to get my wallet. And I told her to just wait outside no, and she wanted Honor. to come in he invited me up he wanted me to see the view there was no view and so did you go into his room yes and I what went happened? into his room I was there um for a few days um, oh, oh yeah oh, the I thought on. she said I was there your for Honor, a few this minutes is, the rest this, is is the vacation. Vacation. this is who you went on vacation no with. no your Honor. And, your Honor I didn't know that he was there with her had I known I would have never even invited him to come you know so to you be ended with up us. spending the rest of the vacation with Mr. Sanchez as well as my friends correct uh, we know exactly what happened here. The bottom line is this. Ms. Baker, when you charge something on your credit card, you are responsible to pay that credit card for the amount. I don't see anything in writing. Neither one of you have presented anything that says, we're going to go on vacation and we are going to split this half and half. But what you did do, which is important, is you supplied the court with additional evidence. And I see you Venmoing her half of the money for the trips you've taken together. You agreed to go on vacation with her. Y'all fell out. What you really should have done was figured out how to work it out. But instead, you decided to move out of the room and move in, right, with Ms. Long. That's your move. choice. That mm -hmm. does not change the fact that you agreed to incur the expense together, which is evidenced by how you all took vacations in the past. I can tell. You were supposed to give her the money. And guess what? You're going to give it to her. Judgment for the plaintiff for $925. Oh, come Pay her on, her money. So much, and quit being Honor. such a creep. Come on. Court is adjourned. Judge Lake has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant owes $925. Your Honor, Move please. my number. Don't ever call what? me again. You're trash. No, you know, you're going to pick up my phone call. Listen, you need to stop harassing women and stop using women. I'm not using anybody. You need to calm you need down. To See, look at you. Look you need at to you. get yourself together. You look at both of you. Yourself. Yeah, look at that. Coming up. Your Honor, I find that it's, to be frank, is oftentimes inappropriate for me to pick apart the morals of my clients and why they choose to live their lifestyle. Closed captioning provided by... You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. Piper Jenkins claims her stylist knew she was a devout vegan, but dressed her in clothes made of animal products anyway. Tallulah Edison claims the plaintiff saw the options and never said a word. Good day, everyone. Good day. This is the case of Jenkins versus Edison. Ms. Jenkins, you are suing Ms. Edison for $3,000. You say she was negligent while she did her job as a stylist. She knew you were a vegan and she put you in clothes made of leather. Is yes, that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Please explain what happened. Your Honor, I'm a uh, country pop singer. I worked with Ms. Edison recently on my third music video. I uh, spoke to her before and uh, had a meeting with her and I showed her posts from my Instagram. I am a devout vegan. I am an animal rights activist. I have never worn uh, animal products in any of my work before. And uh, she knew this and styled me in animal products without my knowledge. Um, and I now can't use the music video and I am suing her for the cost to film another one. All right, so Ms. Edison, did you put Ms. Jenkins in animal? products knowing that she was a vegan? Uh, Your Honor, I did put her in animal products knowing she was a vegan. However, when we met, she did not specify that by vegan she meant she doesn't wear any form of animal product. I work with many vegans. I'm very well respected in that community and I know many who wear leather shoes and never did Miss Jenkins specify that were you speaking directly with Ms. Jenkins or with members of her team? I was speaking directly with Ms. Jenkins. Coming up. When you looked at these options, did you ever say, hi, I just want to confirm that these are going to be faux 
and not real leather. No, I didn't, Your Honor. Closed captioning provided by... You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. We're back with Piper Jenkins and Tallulah Edison, who are arguing over leather clothing. Your Honor, I have Instagram posts. I have uh, I'd like photos to see here. them, please. If you would like to see them, yes. Off. Yes. Um, I'll take it off. Okay, thank you. These are some of the posts that I showed her in our first meeting. None of that's about leather, Your Honor. And so you also included the cost of your music video, which is $2,500. Yes. Ms. Edison, I do want to ask you, though, because you say you deal a lot with vegans. Yes, Your Honor, I do. Would that be a natural question that you would ask directly to a client? Uh, Your Honor, I find that it's, to be frank, is oftentimes inappropriate for me to pick apart the morals of my clients and why they choose to live their lifestyle. Do you do study on the client that you are um, servicing? Yes, Your Honor, I... So did you ever give her leather goods to wear in the past? This was the first time I had worked with Miss Jenkins. We met twice before she shot this music video. And I do have, Your Honor, the pictures of the portfolio that I offered her the second time we met. I'd like to see that. Of course. Okay. This outlined her options and what I would put her in for this video. So did you give her the pictures or did you give her the pictures along with the designer name? I gave her the pictures. There are no labels on the items because we were custom making each of these pieces for her. When you looked at these options, did you ever say, hi, I just want to confirm that these are going to be faux and not real leather? No, I didn't, Your Honor. But as you can see from my Instagram posts, I work with a lot of substitute materials that mimic the properties of leather and I get products. that, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying, when you saw these, did you confirm that? No, Your Honor. Judge Lake's verdict when We the People returns. Promotional consideration provided by... You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. This is a clear case of just failure to communicate. When you are the artist, it is very hard to dot every I and cross every T. I also feel like, Miss Edison, had you said to me that I had never worked with the vegan community, she told me she didn't eat meat, and I didn't know that meant she didn't wear it. Uh, it is for that reason that I do feel like you both share in the responsibility for the failure of this music video. Out of litigation comes lessons. One, Ms. Jenkins, you understanding that in whatever documentation, whatever contract you do, people are clear on what your demands, expectations, and values are. And also, Ms. Edison, I think you need to understand if this is a community that you are going to a service, right, that you have to do a little due diligence and read about and understand clearly, right, what some of the boundaries may be, expectations may be. It is for this reason I think both of you need to share in the responsibility for the damages uh, that have been occurred here. And so my judgment will be for the plaintiff for $1,500. Court is adjourned. Judge Lake has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant owes one thousand five hundred dollars. Your literal child, I her natural child, for Instagram again. followers. No. I don't owe you anything. You paid me five hundred dollars. I am a child. This it was is, that this important. Is my third it was that video. important. Yes, thank that, you for being that so. That you didn't notice me. until your followers yes. commented you on your Instagram post. You may now exit the courtroom. Yeah. Awesome. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.